Y'all have all been asking for this video and I know it's taking me some time but this is really like not my thing y'all so yeah yeah so anyway basically this is going to be like a get ready with me video so it's going to be me you know doing a slight beat and then me applying my wig so y'all can just see how I turn from this mess to girl yes okay but um yeah like literally if my face looks swollen or whatever like i literally just woke up and was like you know what i'm gonna film this get ready with me i really don't like doing my makeup on camera like i have like older videos where i film me doing my face but my face is like really unruly like i know most people i get a lot of messages like because i do post my natural face on like my instagram and stuff like that and I post those pictures when my when my face is like at its best. But usually, nine times out of ten, my face is not at its best. Like I struggle with my face, you guys, um, because I do kind of have like acne prone skin. So not always is my face clear. Like, but I can't keep on holding off this video because a lot of you always ask, "Can I do this type of video?" So yeah, I just felt like I could film a get ready with me video. So yeah, I already moisturized my skin. Um, I do have eczema like really bad y'all. And it be getting on my face. So I have like medicine for that. So I put that on my face. And then I put this MAC Prep and Prime on my face. And it looks like this. This stuff is, I really, really love this stuff. So that's what I have on my face now. But I'm going to keep it pretty simple. So... Like I said, I already prepped my face. Now, I don't think that I'm going to use foundation today. But if I was to use foundation, I normally use my Fenty foundation or I use my MAC Studio Fix. So I kind of like alternate between the two. But today, I'm going to be a cheap bitch and I'm going to use my LA Pro Concealer. I live by this stuff, y'all. I absolutely love it, but I'm using it in the color Toffee because... I feel like that's closest to my skin tone. If I'm looking this way, it's because my mirror is right here. So I just put this under my eyes. Literally, I'm trying to think about... I'm trying to think about what I want to talk about. But, yeah. How have y'all been? I've been great. Yeah, my face is not really that bad where I need like a full, full on makeup, but I do have blemishes that I want to cover. And mostly my, I get my acne like on my chin and I also get it like on my cheeks. Like I have this one bump and it comes in the same spot, like no matter what. And I don't know what the deal is, but I hate it because like when you have like acne skin it looks crazy or when you just have like a breakout it looks really crazy under makeup and I don't really like when makeup when I have like serious breakouts but right now my my skin um it, it can be improved but it's okay and I take this and put it on my chin as well and then like right here I have like an acne spot but yeah and then I'm just gonna put a little bit on my forehead um yeah that's pretty much it put some right here. but yeah I'm using my beauty blender. Well, it's like a real techniques. Um, I do wet this. I'm gonna go and wet this real quick and then I'll be back. But yeah, like I was saying, those the little acne, the laser treatments that I get, my skin is like the same. Like I don't see a difference. Well, maybe let me take that back. I kind of do see a difference, and the difference is I don't get as much breakouts as I used to, I guess. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm wasting my money with that. 
so and I'm sorry y'all I really do be wanting to do these kind of videos but I kind of just stick to what I know and even though like I do makeup as like a job <laughs> that's just not where my heart is at my heart is at like doing you know wig related videos but I do want to branch out because I feel like it's so boring just doing one thing and it definitely gets repetitive after a while of just doing the same thing over and over again like people really do get bored with that shit so um so yeah tell me if y'all like these type of videos i will continue to do them because i know a lot of people say they want to see a like a uh, makeup video or whatever but then a lot of people don't really watch it so it's just like am i doing this for nothing um but yeah so now my face is like pretty much good y'all but i do take this mac prep and prime i have it in bright forecast this is what it looks like and i just use this to give me like a highlight so but yeah I'm just pretty much low-key, you guys. I stay out the way. <laughs> and sometimes, I don't know if it comes off like this bitch, but honestly, like, I really just like to stay out the way. I do my thing on this YouTube thing, and I keep it moving. Because I have a life other than YouTube, and, you know, sometimes I'm old, y'all. I'm not trying, I'm not with the YouTube drama. I don't want to be in no type of drama, none of that. And for the most part, I can say that YouTube has been treating me real well as far as like, double, I, I really don't put this on my chin. As far as like, you know the drama, of course you get, um, you get negative comments here and there, but that's expected um, because that's just how people are. But, like, shit like that does not phase me at all. I don't really care too much what people say. Because that's the type of shit that you deal with in high school. And I'm, like, used to it. I, I have really thick skin. And I really don't take too much stuff serious. So... Yeah. Sorry, it's like I can't talk and do my makeup at the same time. I don't know why. But I really like to blend this out because I don't want to be looking like a ghost. <laughs> um. But yeah, I feel like my face is like my face, my upper body it's like the lightest what am I trying to say <laughs> I feel like my upper body is like the lightest part of my body I feel like my arms are like very tan and dark and so are my legs so I don't know it kind of make it weird for me when I'm trying to pick out like stuff but I just go with how see like my <laughs> My upper body is like really, really light. And then it, I feel like like it just throws it all off because like my arms are like fairly darker than the rest of my body. Like my arms and my legs. I don't know why my limbs are so dark. <laughs> but they are. And I don't know why my face is so light. Like when I was when I was like younger, I feel like I was way darker than what I am now. And I don't understand, like, what changed. But then I be thinking, is it because, like, when you grow, your skin stretches, so maybe it get lighter? <laughs> I don't know, y'all. <laughs> that probably sound dumb, but I'm just like... But, like, my arms and my legs, stay, they, like, stayed the same color. 
but then oh i forgot to show y'all hold on let me dump this back out because i'm just like probably talking too much i use the air spun i live by this stuff y'all i love it especially if you have like oily skin use this stuff it will definitely mattify your uh skin a lot now my skin used to be oily but i feel like now like lately my skin is changing and it's like it's not as oily as it used to be. So I would say my skin is like a combination. But I still use this stuff because I just like the way that it looks. Um, and sometimes I feel like it's too light. And I don't really like that. Like if I'm not going for that look and I want something subtle, I'll mix it in with my MAC powder. I'll show you that um, later. But yeah, I just take this. And put it under the eye. And I don't bake. I used to bake, but I, I don't do that no more. But yeah, I just push this into my skin. And it makes my skin look so flawless, you guys. But I normally concentrate this on like my under eye area. Sometimes I go around my mouth because I do have like small lines that might appear. And then I do it on my forehead and I kind of get like the front of my brows because I feel like right here, like in the front of my brows, it gets so oily and I don't really understand. Like my brows really get oily. But yeah, and I definitely do my chin. I also take this and like go down my nose. I don't really contour my nose because I don't, I used to, but I never was good contouring my own nose. Um, so, yeah, I don't. I just like put a highlight over it. And then I set my eyes a little bit. And y'all, if y'all know me, y'all know I don't wear eyeshadow like that. Normally, if I do my makeup, like, I omit the eyeshadow because I just feel like my eyes, it just doesn't go with eyeshadow. Um, but yeah, like, sometimes I'll do eyeshadow. This is the MAC, or I don't even know what this is called, y'all. Okay, Studio Fix Perfecting Powder. I use this to, um, to set my makeup. And sometimes I use this stuff to mix with my air spun. Um, did I even tell y'all what it was? It was the air air spun loose face powder. Sometimes if I feel like it's too light under my eyes, I'll mix this together. But um, yeah, I use this to set the rest of my face. And I feel like this stuff right here, it just brings everything together. Oh, I didn't say what color I am in this. I'm in, I have it in medium deep. But the way that this is like set up, I don't know if y'all can see that. It's like a mesh thing on top, but it's so hard getting the powder out of this. But What is this? This is the Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. And I have it in Dark Deep. And I normally use this to contour. I use a lot of stuff to contour. But today I'm going to use this. So yeah. Y'all, I'm so excited because my son is turning 5 on the 14th of this month. So I'm taking him to Disney World. It's just going to be like a mini trip for us. And he's really excited to go to Disney World because, you know, sometimes the little commercials come on. He's like, Mom, I really want to go to Disney World. So I'm like, Kason, I'm really going to take you to Disney World. So um, I figured what better way than to take him for his fifth birthday. So we're going to go at the end of this month. So if y'all don't see me, that's why I probably won't film because we're going to stay for almost for about a week. Um... Yeah, so this just gives me color, y'all. 
and it's not too heavy like with the contour or whatever but it's something slight so yeah i'm very excited we're gonna go to orlando because i know it's a disney world in um california as well somebody had reached out to me and was like yo if you're in the california area and you're trying to go to disney world i'll give you tickets sis where are you at like can you give me tickets for the um the Orlando one because you still work at Disney World or is it just if you see this video comment down below because I feel like when I caught that because mind you I didn't know that you couldn't order tickets like online you couldn't order like the Disney tickets online you have to call a number they, that they provide which is whack to me I don't understand why but when I called just to like get a pricing of how much I'm going to be like spending because I already paid for our airfare and I already paid for our little um, Airbnb that we stand in. I'm just, when they told me the price y'all, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, that's more than what I spent on him and I flight combined. And then it's more than I spent on our freaking Airbnb. So I'm like, oh, Disney, you making that bread bread, huh? But I was like, oh my gosh. I don't know, but um, I'll figure it out. But I think that that's going to be so fun. And it's just like bonding time for me and my love. Because, you know, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing right now. So, yeah, okay. This is the, what is this? Saharan Blush Volume 2. And this is what it looks like. I literally have this is by Ju 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 blah, 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 blah. This is by Julia's Juvia's place. Yeah, I think I'm saying it right. But yeah, I take this one right here. And I just pop this into my cheeks. It's freaking snowing outside. This weather in Baltimore has been so freaking crazy, y'all. Like, I don't understand. Even though I, I give it, it has not been, like, a crazy winter. But, like, the weather, I feel like it can't make up its mind. And I don't really like stuff like that because that's when you really get sick. Um, But, yeah. Oh, my God. Last night, I really enjoyed myself. If you are in the Baltimore area... It's this like sushi restaurant spot. It's called Ra, and it's like in downtown Baltimore. You guys should really check it out. I really like it. I went there a couple years for my birthday, and it was nice. And then my sister fiance, he just had a birthday there, so yeah. And I tried the ramen because I really love ramen, and I also really love sushi, so. It was so delicious, you guys. Like, if I could eat that every day, I would. I'm taking this All Nighters by Urban Decay, and I'm just going to set my makeup. And I don't really I don't really go ham with that too much because I feel like I used to, like, spray my face. And sometimes I don't even use this, but I feel like it's only appropriate if I do in a video because I'm trying to, like, give y'all something. <laughs> but... Yeah, when I spray that too much, when I like drench my face with this stuff, it makes my makeup oily after a while. I don't know, is it just me? But I feel like it makes my makeup like really oily. So yeah, that's basically all I do. I don't really wear too much makeup. Um, it might look like it. I don't know, do it look like it to y'all? But try not to go like overboard with the makeup. Um, because although like... I love wearing makeup. I don't like taking that shit off. Especially at night. And especially if I'm going out and then I'm coming back in late. Like, I be fighting with myself. And you you never want to sleep in your makeup. Well, lately I haven't been highlighting my, like my cheeks or anything like that. Just because, I don't know. I haven't been. I don't know why. I just highlight my nose. So, um, like I said, I don't like put eyeliner on or anything because I feel like my eyelids are really fat. But I'm using these lashes right here. 
Oh, you can't even see them. But they're really pretty. These are by Lashes. Ugh. These are by the company Lashes XO. And I have it in a style given life. So I'm just going to go and apply these and put these on. And then I'll be back. I'm finished putting my lashes on. And I also did my bottom lashes. I just put mascara on. I used the uh, Great Lash. What is this by? I think this is by like Maybelline. I love this mascara. So yeah. Um, and I also kind of like carved out my cheeks a little bit. So I used my aspen for that. And then I'm going to go ahead and brush that away. But when I brush it away, I'm going to use some of this MAC powder to brush it away. Just so it won't be so light. So I'm taking this um, lip pencil by Jordana. I don't really know the color because it's short now. Oh wait. Medium brown. It's a medium brown. I love this freaking lip pencil because I just feel like it goes. And back in the day, I used to actually like put this all over my lips and wear it by itself. But um, I'm just lining my lips up with this stuff. Oh, and this is, um, what is this? This is Candy K by Kylie Cosmetics. So, yeah. This is the finished look, which I think that it looks so good, but it looks like I didn't, like, sure enough, like, spent hours beating my face, honey, and I really didn't. Um... But yeah, this is like pretty much my everyday type of makeup look. Okay, so the wig I'm going to be wearing today is by, hold on, it's by OMG Queen Hair. So this is what the packaging looks like. Um, if you watch my videos, you should be very familiar with this um, wig company. I actually really like their wigs. So yeah, um, yeah, and this is what the wig looks like. I already wore this and I'm just going to you know wear it again this is what it looks like the hairline looks very very natural i did go in and bleach the knots but the knots already comes bleached as well so you know me i'm extra i like to you know kind of like perfect my wigs in a way um but if you're like a beginner you don't really have to do all of that and um yeah this is this is pretty much what it looks like it's just like a, a lace front um, it did have three combs. It had two combs right here and then it also had a comb in the back. But I removed the combs because I feel like when I don't use the combs for the front anyway. And I feel like when you remove the combs it just makes your wig lay down much flatter. Um, I do keep the back comb though because the back comb I do use. Uh, all of the specs will be in my description box. But yeah, it's like a bob. It did come in like a wavy texture but I did go ahead and... Uh, curl it but it doesn't you know, uh, I'll fix it on camera but yeah and um my hair is natural but I did straighten it so this is that's why it's um that's why it's straight you guys but um I feel like I do need a trim I feel like when my hair is like straight it's like really fine and thin and I don't really like it and it is oily so okay enough about that but um what I do is I like to I just put my hair in the middle
and then I put in a ponytail now lately in my last like my previous videos before this one I did have um, my hair cornrowed going straight back into six you know six cornrows but it was time for me to um, wash my hair so and yesterday I wanted to wear a ponytail um, but I wanted it to be straight so yeah um, where am I going with this? So I'm going to put two stocking caps on, but I usually put the, I usually put this one on first, depending. Um, and I just flip my hair some kind of way in the back, just like stuff it in the stocking cap. I'm doing it backwards. I'm putting this one on first because with this wig, like you can see the, you can see the stocking cap um, how light it is and I really don't like that so with the black one I just put the black one over top because you can't really see the black stocking cap underneath I'll be using my got to be glue blasting free spray and I use this for all my applications for my wigs except for my like synthetic wigs I don't I don't really I hear those down and I'm putting this like in front of my hairline, not necessarily on my hairline because we want our edges, okay? So you don't want to like put this on your hairline. I'm so fucking. A sale um, starting like March 6th, I believe, or March 7th through the 27th. <laughs> description box um just in case you guys wanted to purchase a wig they are having a sale so keep that in mind and yeah this is pretty much what the wig looks like after that said and done i go in and fix my baby hair so i use my nairobi um foaming lotion this is what it looks like and I use my toothbrush so I'm going to kind of like scoop up so I can really like see. And I'm not going to go like too crazy with anything. Because this is like a pretty simple look. I'm not really trying to do too much. And plus I'm just wearing it behind my ears so. But I do feel like when you like wear style, styles behind your ear. You need a little bit of baby heads popping you know. So yeah. Ain't no need for searching 
like an everyday type of wig um i haven't like when i bleached when i bleached the knots i did get a little bit of shedding once i like washed the bleach out and everything like that but literally i could probably count on my hands how many strands of hair it was it was not much at all and i still haven't got tingling from this hair yet and mostly probably because like it's a shorter wig but yeah so i'm going to take some of this nairobi because i am getting a little bit of flyaways and I'm just gonna, you know. And I probably am gonna go just because it looks weird because before it was like nice and curled so it kind of looked right. But right now I feel like I probably need to straighten it. So I'm gonna go ahead and straighten it but my battery is going dead. So I'm actually gonna let that charge and then show you guys the end results but this is basically this is basically it yeah i freaking love this hair so much i've been wearing it lately if you follow me on instagram then you've seen me wear this hair before and i'm gonna put on my hoops because for some reason i don't wear earrings but like hoops really look nice with this whole look so yeah let me charge my battery really quick and then i'll come back with my finished look this is the end look. Definitely feeling it. Now, because I bleached my knots, I felt like I didn't need to add any finishing powder to the part. So, I didn't add any finishing powder or concealer to my part. This is just what it looks like. 